What is up guys, it's me the Modding Tutorials. Today I'm going to bring you a pretty good tutorial today and it's going to be on how to get Windows 7 for free. Um, Windows 7 obviously better than Vista. So yeah, for this you're not going to need to burn it on a disc or anything. We're going to be using Magic Discs which acts as it acts as a virtual disc. So it's 10 times easier and it makes things a lot easier. Um, when, what I'm going to do is, as you can see right now, I am currently downloading the 32-bit version so I can show you how this is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and when this is done, I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, what's up guys? It's me, the Monk Tutorials, and I'm back. As you can see, my download just got completed for the Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit version. Like I said, I downloaded this again so I can demonstrate. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and right-click and put it on Stop Downloading. I don't want to seed it. Um, now, what you're going to need, guys, is these leaks will be in the description so you guys don't have to go out looking for these like a maniac or anything like that. Um, anyways... Um, you don't have to worry about the Windows 7 activator until the end of this video. Um, so what you're going to need to do is find out if you have a 32-bit. Um, this says 86, but it's 32-bit. Or you're going to need to find out if you have a 64-bit. Now, to find that out, you can go ahead and go right here on computer and just go to your system properties and... Uh, as you can see right here, my system type is 32-bit. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's the 32-bit and the 64-bit. Now you're also going to need Magic Disk. Um, you can go ahead and download it for Windows XP or Vista. You know, just download it for what version you have right here. Um, now for Windows 7, it's a great operating system. It's obviously better than Vista as you can see it has a new taskbar right here and it runs a lot better to be honest and it is very very smooth I mean you, you need at least one gig of RAM to download this and you know that's actually pretty low these days which is good one gig of RAM so yeah okay now once you have uh, Windows 7 Ultimate downloaded sorry you torrent ain't opening up make sure you have everything downloaded like I said now you also need uTorrent sorry I forgot about that guys but um, I'm suggesting not suggesting but I'm assuming you guys already have uTorrent it's a torrent client I mean you can use basically any torrent client such as BitTorrent you know stuff like that oh and if you don't believe me here's Windows 7 Ultimate it is version 7 or er, version 6.1 and the build is 7600 sorry so yeah okay once you're done downloading what you wanna do is you should have the little magic disk icon so you just right click on it we'll go to virtual CD ROM and go to right here and click on mounts go ahead and uh, click on downloads um, I know it's not here but when you click on downloads you should have the torrent download right here to um to your Windows 7 ultimate alright um, now once you download it you should just go through the initial setup which looks like this um, basically it's just your normal setup stuff you know you'll be asked what language and time and currency format and all that good stuff and then you'll also be allowed to set up any connection or network if you want to um, what I recommend doing is when you get right here is clicking on the go online to get the latest updates just to be safe like I said, you get to choose if you want a public network, which is, you know, something like airports, coffee shops, you know, like wireless 
in work network, which is obviously in work or a network from your work, sorry. And then what I'm running on is my home network because I have a router here, so you can do that. And then once you start installing Windows 7, you'll get this. It'll show that it's copying the Windows files and expanding the folders and all that good stuff. Um, and it might restart your computer a few times, but don't worry, it's nothing bad. It's just part of the setup. And then right here, you get you can type a username for your computer. Example: John, like Ultimate PC, whatever you want. Um, when you start the setup, go ahead and click on install now. And then it's going to ask you where do you want to install Windows. You can use your own hard drive. Um, you'll be asked, you know, you can use whatever hard drive you want to. Alright, and I cannot stress this enough, guys. When you get to the product key part, Make sure this box right here is unchecked because you do not want it activating when you're online. So just uncheck that and you don't have to type a product key in yet because we will have an activator for that. And then when you get here, I recommend upgrading because I mean this cleans out your whole computer and just gives you a whole new operating system and everything is brand new. If you, I wouldn't really click on this. Um, that is due to you know you just keep your files and all that stuff now when you when you try to run the setup with magic disk you might get asked this so just go ahead and click on the run setup so that's pretty much it guys now once you have windows 7 downloaded you should should look like this well you won't have this desktop wallpaper but yeah I mean brand speaking you alright now you guys are wondering how the heck do I activate this no worries like I said all these links will be in the more info what you're gonna need is the new Windows 7 activator by blaze69 as you can see it's in 2010 or 2010 so this is updated okay now I have it downloaded so what I'm gonna do is right click and open the containing folder and I'm just gonna drag that onto my desktop go ahead and exit out open it up drag that folder onto my desktop you can go ahead and delete that now open the folder up and you should have a readme file now I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this this is pretty simple if you just read the readme notepad it's very easy I mean this is what it looks like I'll open it up for you guys alright alright so like I said read the readme notepad it's not that hard or difficult it's very very easy to do this will activate your um, Windows 7 as you can see right here mine says alright well it says it's not available right now but it is activated as you can see Windows is activated so um, just click on select task and so on from you just read from the readme notepad Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope this video did help you guys out. Stay tuned for more because I am going to be making some more tutorials. Um, please click on like if you did like this video. And like I said, I hope this helped. Alright, take it easy guys. Peace.